The film takes place in the year 14 at the beginning of the Second World War. The main character's name is Frank. He is sent to a lost island where he must take a watch at a meteorological station due to the fact that his predecessor died. Frank should be there for a whole year. Upon arrival on the island, they meet Gruner living at the lighthouse. As it turned out later, he does not live there alone, but with an amphibian girl whom he does not consider like a person. And now the captain persuades Frank not to stay on the island because of the strange behavior of the lighthouse keeper and unusual barges, but Frank is not relentless and he stays. After putting things in order in the house and laying out all the things, he finds the diary of his predecessor. In addition to the photos of his wife, Frank sees drawings of strange animals in the magazine. Warming himself by the fireplace, he reflects on the universe. The next day, the hero starts his work at the same time watching the lighthouse keeper through binoculars. It got dark. In the distance, you can see the light of the lighthouse. When Frank was finishing his cup of coffee, he suddenly heard some noise outside the door. Deciding that there is a lighthouse keeper behind the door, he takes a lantern and goes to the door from where strange sounds were coming. There was a rather large gap under the door in which he saw something that looked like a hand and kicked it several times with all his might. The hand withdrew and the strange sounds around the house intensified. Our hero grabbed a lantern and quickly went down to the basement holding the lid. The noise of broken glass was heard from above and our hero decided to look through the hole of the lid. Suddenly, a large eye appears in the hole into which he stuck his knife and tied the rope to the lid and remained sitting for the morning. The next day he sees a lot of footprints in the sand around the house, and the tracks lead to the water and end there. After the experience, Frank asks Gruner to take shelter at his lighthouse, but in response he receives only a bucket of slop. Finding himself in a desperate situation, fearing for his life, Frank strengthens his home, closes the windows, digs a moat and fills it with boards with books, pouring gasoline on them abundantly. Hiding in the house, he discovers a rifle and a whole box of cartridges. Being in full combat readiness, he began to wait for the named guests. I didn't have to wait long. Monsters surrounded the house. Our hero uses weapons and at the end sets fire to gasoline in the pit. Frightened by the fire, the night guests returned to the sea. The flames flared up so much that Frank's house caught fire. Escaping, he took refuge in the rocks. Fortunately for him, it rained extinguishing the fire. Realizing that the next night he has nowhere to hide, Frank begins to track down the look of the lighthouse. At one point, he is attacked by a creature similar to a man who, as it turns out, then lives with Gruner. After collecting the remnants of his possessions, tobacco, coffee, and weapons, Frank asks Gruner again and he agrees to let him in. Our hero wants to leave the island, but it turns out that he is far from the trade routes and he still has to wait for a ship that will sail only in a year. With the onset of evening, the deep sea attacked the lighthouse. Gruner fiercely shoots back and Frank refuses to shoot. The next day, Gruner sets a condition for Frank. If he does not shoot monsters, Gruner will escort him out of the lighthouse. At the next attack of the creatures, Gruner leaves Frank alone on the balcony to fend off the monsters. In the morning, he discovers that he passed the tests and remained alive. Once they have played too much, they forget to turn on the lighthouse and the monsters took advantage of this and attacked the lighthouse. Having entered into an unequal battle, Gruner is wounded, but the rising sun disperses the monster. Ammunition and food begin to run out and if the monsters attack again, they will not be able to survive it. Suddenly a ship appeared on the horizon. Frank ran for a rocket launcher, but Gruner did not allow him to call for help, condemning him to stay on the island. Frank finds a common language with Anaris, that's the name of the tamed monster, which causes Gruner's jealousy. Our hero finds a boat and asks Gruner where it comes from. It turns out that a Portuguese ship crashed here in a storm. Those who got ashore and tried to get to the lighthouse were torn apart by monsters before dawn and dragged to the depths of the waters. They were smugglers who were transporting dynamite. It turns out that Gruner has a diving suit and Frank offers to dive into it and find explosives. Gruner agrees after a little thought. Having sailed by boat to the wreck of the ship, Frank sank to the bottom in a wetsuit. Having safely lifted several boxes of dynamite, Gruner stops pumping air into the suit and a small monster suddenly appears and knocks our hero on his back. Not being able to get up, Frank opens his spacesuit and floats up. Returning to the lighthouse, they mine it from all sides and then begin to wait. Weeks pass. 
but the monsters do not appear. It got very cold outside, but they did not leave their post no matter what, waiting for guests. Finally losing patience, Gruner pulls Anaris onto the balcony of the lighthouse, forcing her to call her friends. And she succeeds. A huge number of monsters break through to the lighthouse. They shoot back and manage to blow up dynamite at the last moment and almost die themselves. In the morning, having finished off the blue sea creatures, they took refuge in the lighthouse. Frank is trying to establish at least some kind of relationship with the monsters, and at this time Gruner gets drunk. According to one of the photos, Frank finds out that Gruner is the missing meteorologist. Our hero goes ashore with a torch and meets with the sea inhabitants. They want a truce. Anaris no longer obeys Gruner, then he shoots the little creature and kills it. The sea inhabitants leave Frank without agreeing. And between Gruner and Frank there is a struggle and the wounded Gruner gives himself up to the monsters. A year has passed and a new meteorologist arrives on the island. They perceive Frank overgrown and bearded as Gruner, the lighthouse keeper, and try to find a meteorologist. This is the end of the movie. How do you like the movie? Write in the comments.